Okay, live. This is behind the scenes shit right there. We are doing some live edits on the reading material because I keep stumbling upon certain lines which indicates that there has to be something down there. So, what I want to find here is seeker blah, 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 reading samples. Samples. Samples, yo. Here's this one. Show me. Show me, computer. Already up. This is why it's important to read the stuff out yeah. loud. Yeah. As, uh, well, not as you're writing it, but after you've edited it, read it out loud and... This is, this is the learning points right there. Corridors and crisscrossing walkways. The beginning was uh, easier to read, but mm. here, when we get to the dialogue, when we get to the, on one hand, tra transitions of uh, Jewel's emotions, transitions of her physical being and dialogue between her and Raptor, this is where there are some, some stumbly bits. Okay. We have gotten past the part where Jewel has received a paper contract. For those of you reading alone, reading along at home, you can find the reading sample itself at kaosnova.co.uk reading samples. Uh, see for chapter two, I think. Yeah. There's where the stumble happens for the yeah, voice. Yeah, this is the stumble block, and also. There's a few uh, generalizations in this paragraph as well. Yes, that... I left out this sentence. Okay. During reading, and it felt better. Mm -hmm. This means we can do like this. She maintained grip on the folder. Yeah. And fuse it together with this paragraph. And what I will do. She maintained a tight grip on the folder. One, two. All the way to the docking bay. Because it's implied that she gets there, so we don't have to spell it out that she gets there. Mm -hmm. She maintained a tight grip of, of the she maintained tight grip on the folder. Until... oh, yeah. All the way. She gripped the folder. We've already got grip. Oh. No, no we don't. Yeah. Okay. She gripped the folder all the way to the docking bay. Hey, Valkyrie! Oh. <laughs> and that way we've also been able to cut out the fact that a voice calls out to her, which yeah. is sort of like a neither here nor there, because she's not yeah. going to be calling out to herself, is she? So. Yeah. An elderly man jumped out from his makeshift seat. And I think I'm going to cut crates and boxes. Just the makeshift seat in the, dock, uh, in the bay. I, when you were reading it out, I did like the imagery that provided. Mm. Then lose makeshift. Okay. An elderly man jumped. Jumped down from his seat of box and crates. Yeah. So I, I think that sounds better. Yeah, box and crates. Boxes and crates. Maybe there's oh. a better way to... Crates, crates and boxes. Crates and boxes is, is what it is All right, right now. Okay. So that, that way I can leave as is. Jumped What did I delete now? No, wrong. Bad computer. An elderly man jumped from Elderly man sprung from his seat of crates and boxes near solitaire, and and sprung implies you feel bigger. So mm -hmm. I will cut that one out. Elderly man, drop down, sprung up more like. 
Because Raptor is he he has got some youthful not maybe not youthful vigor, but he's he's an active gentleman. How about this? An elderly man sprung from a seat of crates and boxes next to solitaire. Full stop. Nice. Reading samples are not indicative of final versions. His jacket patches. Indicated. Indicated. Very high. Rank? Status uh -huh. among secret ranks. Although, yeah, th this is a little bit redundant here, but. Since we, since we don't have an explicit ranking system, I think we have to watch it somewhat. Ooh, phone. Very high status among seekers or seeker ranks. Seekers, I think just seekers. Yeah. Seekers. Observed. So instead, he welcomed her with a smile and waited for her to get closer. I would say he observed her uh, approach mm -hmm. with a welcoming, so uh, a welcoming smile. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we get to the dialogue, and here I would like to cut out some of the banter. Okay. But I don't know which which parts yet. Cable, behave. <laughs> There's one sort of key quote in this entire section that I don't think we can get rid of, but the rest of it yeah. is a bit waffly. <laughs> Waffles all the way! <laughs> so what are you thinking? You're not that easy to find. Right. She is still smiling. That one is good. And so, with that said, Jewel can get rid of her next sentence, where she's yeah. like, not so hard to find because it doesn't make sense anymore. So maybe she can just give a stoic grunt or something like that. Like acknowledge what he said but not really uh, pay much attention. Let's lose Jewel's line and keep her action. Okay. Jewel. <clears throat> so she she's doing something with the papers. The as East version is Jewel absent mind, absent mindedly tapped her, the contract. And even right now, I have trouble reading it out. So, Jewel. She could roll her eyes, shake her head, something, or. Yeah. It doesn't have to be an indicator on the folder. Yeah. Of course, the next. Uh... Uh, okay, I know how to do it. The next, uh, the following dialogue does refer to the, to the folder. But if it's a if it's an unusual site, then it's going to stand out anyway. Mm. She will roll her eyes. Mm -hmm. And we 
would she have to do something with the contract? Or no, let's let's keep it snappish. Jewel rolled jewel only rolled her eyes. Merely rolled her eyes. Uh, and there are rules when taking such a contract, private contract, but perhaps there's no need for it to be stated in this conversation outright. Yeah. Although, is that going to take away from the moment later in Chapter 4, and this might be spoiler territory here, but in Chapter 4 where she pays the fee, mm -hmm. like, if we don't include this bit here, it's going to feel mm -hmm. a bit like that comes out of nowhere. Yeah. So... I wouldn't worry about spoilers because anybody who's smart enough to tune in and watch now deserves their spoilers. Yeah. They have earned their spoilers. <laughs> right, so what I'm what I what I think I'm gonna do here is mm -hmm. Raptor Note this is uh oh what do we have there? Or what do you have there? Right. And cut his uh, grooming action. Uh oh what? And I think uh, she should say, oh, oh, what, Overseer? Yep. And add that she had forgotten to conceal the folder. Mm-hmm. She's got some other stuff on her mind right now. Yeah. <laughs> There was a nice bit as you were reading it out where Jewel, Jewel had the exact right reaction mm. in sassiness mm -hmm. to something that Raptor had said. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. but I can't, I can't remember what it was. I think when we get to it. Yeah. So. The way it reads now is, you're not that easy to find. He was still smiling. Jewel merely rolled her eyes. Uh oh, what do you have there? Uh oh, what, Overseer? She cursed herself for not concealing the folder. Private contracts aren't against the rules. He let out a short laugh. Maybe not, but you still have to pay a fee. Pay your fee. Yep. Or the fee. Pay the fee. But you still have to pay the fee. And, and you know and you know what they say. Oh yeah, that was it. How eloquent. I really like that bit, that line from Jewel. She's sort of like, oh, how eloquent, you know. So if we can keep that in, I'd like that. And Instead of saying, ha, oh, there's an old secret adage that goes something like, I would say instead. Mm -hmm. oh, you know what they say, try and be a bit more precise with it. Uh, no. No? Okay. okay. The editor is working. <laughs> <laughs> what? She was going to be patient. Okay, what? Jewel is growing impatient. You don't know. The saying goes, private contracts are nothing but trouble. Jewel rolled her, rolled her eyes again. Actually, she should start with the line. 
how eloquent. Or maybe instead of rolling her eyes again, maybe something else of discomfort, like exhaling or sighing or I don't know. We're getting there, we're getting there. Rolling our eyes is perfectly acceptable in that situation. Yeah. But if we figure out an alternative, maybe make a note of it. Uh, or we could make her roll her eyes here and make her do something different, different earlier. Different earlier yeah, because... okay. So maybe there's like a shake of the head or a, um, or a just a annoyed side to herself yeah that this is indeed Raptor who is speaking because it is a little bit wonky here. Okay. Oh okay. Let's see. Also I don't think we're bringing in Yeah, I, th I think we should make her respond after all. You're not that easy to find. You are still smiling. Good. Uh, what time of the day might it be? It's night time. Isn't it? Because she's wandering around in the twilight of the station. Can we can we say it in a fancy way? Or like in a sort of quirky way that implies mm. it's not uh, your regular earth twilight. Yeah. Um. Or just a greeting. Good bounties overseer. Good tidings. Yeah, the seekers don't really have much of a greeting to one another, do they? Yeah. So, um... She, it could just be, hello, Overseer Raptor. Yes. Yeah, probably best to just keep it simple. What up? <laughs> yeah. What's up, you fucking cunts? <laughs> yeah. She's straight up evil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because the the thing thing is here that uh, we are introducing Raptor, and uh, later on I'll have her address him as just overseer. Mm -hmm. So. Maybe we should bring out uh, or introduce the whole overseer raptor. Mm. And since she's being uh, cutesy about it or difficult about it, it could it could be like a sarcastic. Good morning, overseer raptor. <laughs> yeah. That that sort of uh, deal. So 
it's like hello is too short. Mm -hmm. it, it it should be like it needs another. It beat. needs a boom boom boom. Yeah yeah, yeah. like uh, like permission to speak freely. That that sort of you know a, a slightly non civilian greetings. Greetings is too chirpy. Oh. I feel. It's probably as close as we're going to get, yeah. but it still feels a bit too chirpy for her. Like, yeah. I'm feeling, Greetings! <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling Jules' current mood right now and she's a little bit agitated. Yeah, you know? so it's so so she can hide behind the formal, formal uh, expressions. But she's not so far the other way where she's like, what do you want, yeah. you know? Um, what do you want, bitch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would be... Yeah, like uh, like the uh, the contact told told her farewell seeker mm -hmm. that we 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 need some sort of uh, some something of that uh, that caliber something yeah. of that tone. Yeah. Let's see. Let's test our size a little bit. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Howdy. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Buenas noches. <laughs> um, good day. Yeah, like good I day. Keep, or... I keep settling on good day. Yeah, because it's got good a sarcastic. Good, good evening. Good eve tide. <laughs> Let's see if there's something that strikes my fancy about evening. Because it is, it is not inherently evening, but the station's internal workings are on the night time. Good dusk. <laughs> that's, that's too cutesy. Or she could say good morning. Maybe show her sarcasm in her, in her actions. Maybe she like feigns a smile and says something cutesy like "Good morning, overseer." Or, yeah, that's, no, that's that still too, feels too wrong. far. It's like she's trying to. It's like imagine that you arrive home, when the rest of the family is still active, and you're in your own bubble and your own hate space, and you're trying to get past the, uh, past everybody with minimal interactions. So it's like you you can you can be a little bit sullen about the whole affair, but you don't try you, you don't provoke them with mm. overly sarcastic remarks because that might uh, that might provoke a conversation mm. and, mm -hmm. and that's not what she wants. So it's one of those You're not that easy to find. He was still smiling. Oh, or see a raptor. Yeah, that works. Short, yeah. sweet, simple, dumb. The answer was there the whole time. Action to back it up, but the hard part is, is done. Oh, we're seeing her after. I would, I would know the expression in Estonian that would suit here, like a glove. But I don't know if there's any such expression in English. The, the Estonian uh, thing would be like she dropped from the tip of her lips. No clue. Yeah, I, I know, I know. <laughs> there are probably people watching who are like, Hey, wait, I know the English for that. <laughs> uh, and it's probably something really common and simple and easy to know as well. Uh, I think let's, let's express her emotion through action, like she keeps going. She spared a minimal nod. 
Mmm, show don't tell. No, that is... That is action already. Yeah. She said minimally! <laughs> yeah, I mean... Now, a minimal nod is... Oh. She spared him a nod. Yeah. That rolls better, or that's like, uh, quick and punchy. Not spared, but granted granted him a nod. I like granted. In her extreme generousness. <laughs> <laughs> and now that she has done an action, it is quite clear that it's him speaking again. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to add anything here. Oh, what? Overseer? Trying to contact Artemis rules. He let out a short lock. Maybe not, but there is still a fee to pay. Or there is still the matter of the fee. Mm hmm. Maybe an extra fee. I think keep it simple, just okay. the. Uh... There is still the fee to pay. Yeah, let's tighten that up a lot. Now this does say this does drag on a little bit. This uh, and you know what they say. And you know the what saying. Jill was getting impatient. You, oh, okay. You, you don't know the saying goes. Private contracts are nothing but trouble. This feels like it lost. Um, I mean, it fits. Mm -hmm. It totally fits, but. And you know the old saying. Yes. Okay. And then a punchy response from Jewel. She's like, what? And then Raptor's like... She says, you don't know if private contracts are nothing but trouble. So I will lose the saying goes from here. I will start with private contracts are nothing but trouble. Like he's got a matter-of-factly way of saying it, you know. It's like, oh, you don't know? It's just, it's just the thing. Everybody knows private contracts are nothing but trouble. Come on now. Private contracts are nothing but trouble. Have you not heard that? <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, or, Joe, Have you funny. really not heard that? This is like basic stuff. <laughs> How can you be? How can you come so far and not know that? <laughs> How eloquent! Jewel rolled her eyes, <laughs> and this brings us back to the point where we were. Okay, I think we have quite a bounty of uh, behind-the-scenes material now. If you happen to tune in to one of our readings, then now you know how the sausage is made—the nice sausage. Uh, I think. Next, if you would do the honors and flip loop it now, yeah.